This is Plant-Based Briefing, three success stories about chronic kidney disease on a whole food plant-based diet from ForksOverKnives.com. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson, and this is the plant-based podcast where I curate and narrate, with permission, articles on a variety of topics related to plant-based, compassionate, and eco-friendly living. And yesterday's article was also from ForksOverKnives.com. It was about chronic kidney disease and a whole food plant-based diet. And at the end of the article, they mentioned three success stories to check out, so I'm reading those today. The first one is, at 73, I went plant-based and said goodbye to obesity, heart disease, chronic kidney disease, and arthritis. And then, how a plant-based diet helped me restore kidney functioning. And lastly, from 3% kidney function to dialysis-free on a whole food vegan diet. So now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. At 73, I went plant-based and said goodbye to obesity, heart disease, kidney disease, and arthritis by Rick McKeon at ForksOverKnives.com. Eight years ago, I had a heart attack and triple bypass open heart surgery. Even that wasn't enough to scare me into changing my lifestyle permanently. Sure, I made some short-term changes, but after a few months, I was right back to my old ways, drinking a 12-pack of beer every day and eating loads of junk food. I had heart disease, alcoholism, and painful arthritis in my shoulders, in addition to struggling with obesity. I was a sick puppy. I felt like I was standing on the edge of a cliff about to fall over. On the Edge On November 29, 2017, I woke up with my left arm completely numb. The numbness didn't go away. Also, there was a big black spot obscuring part of the visual field in my right eye. I thought that I'd had a stroke. I went directly to the emergency room. I had dangerously high blood pressure, 228 over 137, and enlarged liver, stage 3 kidney disease, and neuropathy. I told myself that I had some serious health issues and I needed to make some major changes. I hoped it wasn't too late. Embracing the effort. Fear and sickness hadn't been enough to motivate me in the past. My secret to success this time around was to get myself excited about making these changes. After several false starts, I found these 12 points to be key. 1. Sobriety. I couldn't follow any health program when I was drinking. I could talk a good story, but I couldn't put it into action. I had to quit drinking. 2. Healthy eating. I adopted a whole food plant-based diet. 3. Mild exercise. For me, it is hiking. 4. A positive expectation. I believed from the beginning, without a doubt, that this program would work and I would achieve my goals. I accepted setbacks as part of the learning process. 5. Educating myself. I learned about nutrition and health by watching documentaries and reading books. 6. Embracing the effort. I had to recognize and embrace the idea that this would take some effort. I learned to view the hard or boring parts as just part of the process. 7. Emotional involvement. Intellect alone doesn't do it. Emotional involvement drives these lessons deep into your being. 8. Stress management. For me, stress management consists of relaxation, visualization, and prayer. 9. Staying away from the edge. If I think about an unhealthy behavior long enough, I'll end up doing it, so I have to plot a course that keeps me far away from the edge. 10. Learning to treat myself as if I matter. This was a tough lesson for me because feelings of inferiority were part of my personality, but people can change. 11. Gratitude. No matter what your religious beliefs, you probably believe in some kind of higher power. I wake up each morning grateful to mine for the opportunity to live another day, and that sets the tone for the entire day. And 12. Share your journey. Trying to help others without being obnoxious or overbearing is very motivating to me. That's why I wrote this article. A greater purpose. What I thought I could accomplish in six months actually took more than a year. I made some slip-ups, but instead of getting discouraged, I always got back on the program right away. It paid off. By adopting a whole food, plant-based diet, maintaining sobriety, and exercising moderately, I have been able to bring my blood pressure down to normal without prescription medications, lose 65 pounds overcoming obesity, eliminate the neuropathy in my feet and arthritis in my shoulders, start walking again and even do strenuous hikes without any pain in my legs, and bring my lab numbers back into the normal range with no indication of kidney failure. Also, I discovered a greater purpose for living. 
Today I live pain-free and enjoy many activities that I hadn't been able to do for years. My hope is that reading this will inspire you along your own journey. Stories of amazing, life-changing recoveries usually come from younger people in their 40s and 50s, but at this writing, I am 75 years old, and I'm telling you, you can do this. How a Plant-Based Diet Helped Me Restore My Kidney Functioning by Kelly Lawrence at ForksOverKnives.com For more than 20 years, I've been a kidney patient with little to no hope. For many years, my nephrology team tried to persuade me to begin dialysis. I refused. Something in my gut told me it just wasn't time and to hold off. I knew deep down that there had to be a way to help my kidneys perform better. Despite my low-functioning kidneys, I still lived what I felt was an active life, even though I had to give up running 5K races. Looking back now, I see I was missing out on so many things by being too tired to participate. Then, last year, my doctors told me that my glomerular filtration rate, GFR, was 18, stage 4 of chronic kidney disease, the last stage before kidney failure, and that it was time to consider a kidney transplant. Their data stated that the average transplanted kidney lasts between 10 and 20 years. I'm 49 years old, so simple math dictated that if I hoped to live to 80 years old, I would need two kidney transplants over the rest of my lifetime. I felt that the gift of an organ was just too precious for me to ask anyone to donate more than once. I pored over books and medical publications such as JAMA, looking for clues to help me better my situation. I devoured educational materials designed for kidney patients and never saw a glimmer of hope. My outlook was bleak at best. I was tired, depressed, anxious, and worried about how my family would cope without me after my death. Not only was I dealing with kidney disease, I was also diagnosed with paralytic stomach, gastroparesis, which made my stomach hurt terribly after each meal. And on top of all that, my cholesterol was 493. Another option. A friend of mine who also suffers from kidney disease mentioned that his doctor suggested a vegan diet. I began to research the vegan lifestyle, diving in full force. I watched documentaries, read nutrition book after nutrition book, and began looking at recipes. Ultimately, I decided to try a whole food plant-based diet as a last resort before saying yes to a kidney transplant. Before I made the switch to a whole food plant-based diet, I enthusiastically subscribed to the standard American diet. I gobbled up chocolate, pie, french fries, and potato chips as often as possible, but I told myself that since I cooked my meals from scratch each night that I was negating any harm french fries, burgers, and takeout chicken sandwiches might do. Despite how drastically different a whole food plant-based diet would be, I decided to give up animal products and highly processed foods cold turkey. I know myself too well. A taste becomes a bite, and a bite leads to a serving, and a serving leads right back into old unhealthy behaviors. So I made the switch overnight and started my new lifestyle on January 1st, 2019. Rapid Rejuvenation I was shocked at how quickly my energy increased after going whole food plant-based. I went from being a couch potato to having trouble sitting still. I couldn't believe how quickly I lost weight and my cholesterol fell over 100 points by day 17. Over the past three months, I've lost 30 pounds, lowered my cholesterol to 281 without statins, and raised my GFR to 23. I no longer qualify for a kidney transplant. My stomach is completely healed. I no longer experience pain after meals. I've always exercised some, but now I exercise with more regularity, and I look forward to my morning walk before I go to work. I am full of energy, and as an added bonus, my depression and anxiety have faded. I'm living life to the fullest. My first 5K race of the year is coming up in May. Planning for success. Fork's Meal Planner has been an amazing asset to me. The planner makes food interesting, and I look forward to picking out my menu each week, along with reviewing the predetermined menus presented. Each recipe, start to finish, takes only 30 minutes. How great is that? My favorite meal planner recipe is veggie fajitas, which are made with portobello mushrooms and peppers. Another favorite is the portobello pot roast. I've always loved to cook, and the meal planner really keeps me interested in cooking, trying new ingredients and flavors. I now savor fresh pineapple. It's so sweet. I highly recommend the meal planner to whole food plant-based newcomers. Some of my coworkers have joined me in eating whole food plant-based. I try to post updates on the Forks Over Knives official plant-based group on Facebook as often as I can because I want to help spread the word about how healing this way of eating has been for me. I never cheat by eating non-whole food plant-based. I just can't risk going back to my old eating habits. 
I value my newfound health too much to cheat myself. Update June 29, 2021. In February 2020, I developed a presumed case of COVID-19 and became very ill. I survived, which my physician attributes to my healthful plant-based diet. Unfortunately, the illness severely impacted my kidneys and my EGR fell to 10%, at which point I decided to pursue a kidney transplant. My brother donated to me in April 2021, and we are both doing well. From 3% Kidney Function to Dialysis Free on a Whole Food Plant-Based Diet by Don Davis at ForksOverKnives.com In November 2016, I went into an emergency room and within just a few hours, I was informed that I had stage 5 chronic kidney disease. I was 53 and my life as I knew it was over. I was ineligible for a transplant and my kidney function was only 3%. My wife Kimberly, who has spent her life as a researcher, went to work. I was the proverbial lab rat and she the scientist. She began researching all of the benefits of a whole food plant-based lifestyle and what sick people do in countries with little or no medical support. My doctors said there was no hope. My dialysis center said nothing would work and no one ever came off of dialysis without a transplant. We were set to prove them wrong. Enacting a plan. Kimberly formulated a plan that involved completely changing what and how I ate. We literally journaled and charted everything I ate and drank. She had created a modified whole food plant-based lifestyle plan that gave my body what it needed, and slowly improvements began. The improvements were small at first, and still my medical team was not very supportive of my addressing chronic kidney disease with diet. However, after a few months, the improvements were enough to start getting their attention. At a visit with my nephrologist, he asked us straight up, What are you doing? At that point, we began a lengthy dialogue with him about the benefits of whole food plant-based eating, and he slowly started to think we might be onto something. Eventually, he began to reduce my dialysis time, and then he began to reduce my days in dialysis. All the while, my labs kept improving. Finally, the call came on a Saturday afternoon in February 2017. The order had come in to remove me from dialysis. I was free from the chair. Dialysis free. It goes without saying that we were ecstatic. We started a small Facebook group to try to get the word out as to what we were accomplishing. Today I have been dialysis free for over a year and a half. My labs continue to improve and our little Facebook group has grown to over 7,000 members in over 100 countries. Countless people have had the same success I've had. The plant-based living lifestyle seems so foreign to most people, yet has the ability to change lives. You just listened to three success stories about chronic kidney disease on a whole food plant-based diet from ForksOverKnives.com. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson, and these are so inspirational. Please share them with anyone who might benefit, and thanks for listening.